When did I get these? Sure, you know what? This happens every time. Nobody plays the cool modes. It's just TDM. Why? Alright, here on BO3 playing TDM because that's all people play. I'm using the CUDA because apparently the VMP got nerfed to shit at some point. I had literally no idea. Which basically made this gun like the SMG of choice. So, I mean, fuck it. Did nobody spawn in? What the hell was that? I didn't... <laughs> Complete silence on Nuketown. Can you believe that? I genuinely don't know what just happened. Did everyone take like forever to load in? That's be it. Like those old ass Xbox hard drives are getting eroded. I'm so good at this game. Hold on. I have 12 hours to play it on Titanfall. I'd say I know what I'm doing. Let's use. Oh my God! It's the optic gloves. Oh, dude, that guy's sniping. If he was like using a normal gun, it would, it would have been over for me. Dude, every kill is a traitor. How am I number one? We're terrible. Actually, the worst team in the game. Right, hold on. Nice. Flash grenade. Oh, fuck. Doesn't seem to be any modders. Even BO3 has like a weird issue. I'm not sure what it is though. I don't even know how it happens in this game. Like my my best guess is either like importing. Oh my god, I just got fucking annihilated. It's either some sort of like USB save that like gives you like a custom class that like is like fully glitched out, or since it's like peer to peer now, you're like intercepting people's networks using some like network programs on a computer. That I'm just guessing at this point. I don't know what the fuck people do to like actually hack on this game because like you can't mod an xbox everything after the 360 is unmoddable not because it can't be modded but because like most people who like actually like do the mods and stuff don't have a use for it most of people like actually like create like the jtags and all that shit they just make like homebrew software like stuff they just made mixed like around the console knowing fully well that like microsoft's not gonna like like make it official on xbox it's, they have like their own like little like tool or something you put you pay like 10 bucks and you can literally just like make code and then run it on your xbox it turns into a little dev kit don't ask me how i know all this i don't mod i promise see i don't mod. is the cuda terrible or am i terrible i think i've just become like really bad with the iron sights i don't know what happened but like a switch flicked in my brain and now i just can't play without a red dot danceless bro what a cool gamer tag dude <laughs> fucking wicked oh reflex nice wait holy shit everyone's so low level by the way this is how you do skull based matchmaking i see a lot of arguments like against skull based matchmaking the main thing is like oh what the fuck is this site i can barely see shit the main thing is that like you know, get sort of like communication, like the friendship, all that shit. And yeah, I agree. Obviously, that's one of the like the biggest arguments. But I feel like there's like one that like people kind of forget about. Yes, you know, I'm fucking annihilated because I have like a red dot. I don't know what the hell's wrong with me. And I said the old system was already kind of perfect because what it had was like complete like choice. Now, let's say you join the lobby and fucking like optic scumpy is in the lobby. It's like shredding everyone, going idiot and no. Now, if you don't like getting stomped on, you can leave and like not join the next game with that lobby. You can join a different lobby. But if you don't mind it and you're just there to like play for the hell of it, don't mind getting stomped, then you can stay. I, that, that, it's that simple. Confirm. Holy shit, this thing's actually kind of shredding. What the fuck? Ah, man, that's like the main thing for me. Like, they're, like, like. I mean, either way, if you want, like. If, if they're not getting rid of non-disbanding lobbies, like, at least just do skill-based matchmaking the way, let's say, Halo 3 did it. Halo 3 had skill-based matchmaking, you know, 15 years ago, worked perfectly fine. I don't see why we don't do that anymore. I'm pretty sure Halo 2 had the same thing. But in that case, it was mostly the fact that there was both the social playlist and the ranked playlist. If you want to just lay back and fucking play, then you play social. And, like, it, I don't think there's skill-based matchmaking in that mode, but don't quote me on that. But if you want to, like, you know, go all out, you want to be the greatest gamer there ever was, then that's when you play ranked. And ranked isn't like, uh, it's not like modern ranked. I can't really explain how, but it's just, it just doesn't feel the same as it, like ranked games do nowadays. And I mean, either way, people aren't really gonna touch ranked play because like it's not being listed in the same way that like social and ranked were listed together. Like in Cold War, it's a completely different mode. I think the same goes for Vanguard. I mean, as someone who was like a fucking like casual nerd, didn't know what the hell they were doing, ranked didn't feel like an extra like option like to like just like be like slightly better it felt like something that i shouldn't have access to because i'm not good enough like it made this weird little barrier in my head because it's like it's like its own thing like you got multiplayer and you got wrecked it just feels more welcoming in halo i don't know how to explain it i don't even know what i'm talking about but my point is if they stole that system i guarantee you nobody would care in fact people would rejoice although that doesn't really go to infinity war i don't think they have a choice in all that i think it's really just activision 
Activision, Bobby, please listen. You're ruining everything. It shouldn't have to be like this. Oh, oh that could have been so sick had I known how to aim. Whatever. I'm not gonna lie though, I kinda see where people are coming from when they say this is like one of the best Call of Duty games ever made. I mean, this game is solid. It's also kinda crazy how like every year we complain about Call of Duty. I tweeted this on my alt account, but it's like really interesting to think about. Like, are we just complaining because like we're only focusing on the bad things? Like that's how the brains work? Or are the games literally getting worse every year? I love Black Ops 3. Even if I'm kinda trash.